Hello, I'm Aidan Swan. Welcome back to Ink for Artists, where we test ink from the point of view of an artist. Today, we are testing three inks by Weringool. Weringool is a niche Korean brand. I've been dying to try their inks for the longest time. I found them on social media where they have an absolutely fantastic presence. Their website is beautiful too, but until very recently they weren't available in my country. So I am so chuffed that Right Gear has started bringing them in. I had fallen in love with I Am A Cat, but when I got into the shop and I saw the range, I <laughs> couldn't actually decide between them so I got I'm a cat and half mooned with dim light. The third ink I chose, Tinkerbell, is obviously inspired by Peter Pan and it looks to be a lovely sage green which is a color that I very much need and will use a lot so I absolutely could not let that one go. The thing that initially attracted me to Weringool, aside from their incredible and very decadent range of colours, is that their inks are inspired by literature. And not only Western literature, they have an entire range that is inspired by Korean literature, which is where I Am A Cat and Half Mooned With Dimmed Light comes from. And I thoroughly recommend that you look up the authors and look up their works, because they are fascinating. As always, we will be doing wet on wet and wet on dry testing, as well as looking at the chromatography. I am using my Winsor Newton Series 7 and Raphael Soft Aqua brushes. The pen is antique French silver with an antique nib. The first thing that I noticed about the Weringal is that it is an astoundingly wet ink so wet that it actually just ran off of my pen and it took me a while to get the pen actually writing. The second thing to remember is that these are shimmer inks and they have this amazing super super fine shimmer. However that means that you need to shake them constantly between basically almost every pen dip. You need to reshake them because they settle near immediately. So let's put down ink for our wet on dry. I made a mistake with this first one, the tester for I'm a cat, where I actually forgot to shake it. So this particular patch doesn't have very much shimmer. However, that's actually a really nice thing to show you, is that if you don't want so much shimmer, just don't shake them and then you'll just get the base ink and you can work like that. You can see with putting down these two grey inks that they are not heavily pigmented. They're very soft and gentle, so you need to actually put down quite a few layers if you do want a deeper colour. However, I would much rather work up to a shade like this than to water them down. When I first put down Tinkerbell, when it's wet, it actually looks quite grey. But when it dries, the green really comes through. Interesting thing that I've noticed about these is that they seem to behave actually like oxidizing inks. So they go on very, very light, but they do darken. Let's do some wet on wet. So I put down water, obviously shaking the ink to get all the shimmer through. Now. That's very interesting. So these inks feel quite oily. Not that they have oil in them, it's that they seem a bit hydrophobic. They don't mix immediately and readily the way that many other inks do, especially considering how wet they are. You can see that it's the pigments just sort of staying at the top, it's not running through. And when I add more water, that dot of water seems to stay separate from the pigment again. Let's see if the half moon with dim light behaves in the same way. 
Yes, it does seem to have that same strange oiliness to it. In terms of shade, there is a very pale yellow undertone to the half moon that comes out and separates when you work with it wet on wet. The I'm a cat has a bit more blue to it. Let's try Tinkerbell. Texturally the same. Oh my god, look at that shimmer. That... I mean, you know that I love shimmer inks. I'm just a crow in human form, but watching that shimmer move through is just... It makes my heart so happy. Immediately on the Tinkerbell, you see it's split into a bluey green and a bit of a yellow. But it does have the same interesting, slightly hydrophobic quality to it. Now, with my two dry samples of I Am A Cat, you can definitely see the difference in tone with and without the shimmer. It's far bluer without the shimmer, and the shimmer is a very warm gold that really warms up the entire shade. Let's do our wet on dry. So, it's a really staining ink. That is not going anywhere. The shimmer's moving, so if you re-wet it, yes, you will lose the sparkle, or some of it, but very little of the actual pigment. That sort of goes with my theory that it's almost an oxidizing ink. Half-mooned with dimmed light, even less pigment moving. So if you're working with these inks, you need to be certain of where you're putting them because they're not moving. And Tinkerbell, absolutely no movement of the color. Let's see what happens if we leave a dot of water on each for a while. Let's see how much movement we get. And let's let those dry for a little while. Now, on to our chromatography. Let's start with the two greys. On first look, you can see that the base, I think, is actually the same shade. That sort of stormy bluey grey. Although on I Am A Cat, you can see that there is a bit of a touch of cyan that's separated out. And on Half Moon, there is that pale primrose yellow, which is what gives both of these inks quite a different feeling, even though they are very, very similar. Now, if we open them up, we can see the real difference. And with Half Moon, you can see that strange oily quality where we actually have a line where the pigments have separated. This is less obvious in I'm a Cat though. I'm a Cat is much smoother. However, there is far less of that cyan than there is of the primrose yellow. That band of primrose looks almost like lightning. It's beautiful. Or like moon over a cloud. In looking at Tinkerbell, you can see that it's separated out into a bluey sage with that same primrose yellow as the undertone. And in terms of shimmer, I had initially thought that the shimmer in Tinkerbell and I'm a Cat were the same. They really aren't. I'm a Cat has a very warm gold shimmer, where Tinkerbell has a Pale, it's almost a German silver. Half Moon with Dim Light has that very pale sky blue. In coming back to the Tinkerbell, there seem to be touches of the same stormy grey. Now, let's see what's happening with our drops of water. In Dotting Back I'm a Cat, quite a bit of the pigment actually came off. However, it is not reworkable. 
that's the interesting thing. Yes, it stains a lot, but if you leave water on for a long time, you can knock back a fair amount of the pigment, but you can't rework the shade. Half moon with dimmed light, almost nothing came off. And even with the water sitting for quite a long period, we've lost almost no pigment. And the same on Tinkerbell. Almost all that we've lost on Tinkerbell and Half Moon with dimmed light is the shimmer. So the thing to remember with these inks is that you cannot rework them. My final thoughts. I have absolutely loved working with these inks. I may be even more in love with Weringul than I was with the idea of Weringul, if that makes any sense. They are absolutely fascinating. They're probably the most unusual ink that I've ever worked with. They are, however, not an ink for a beginner ink painter. They are not easy to work with. They do not play nice. So you need to be very confident of your skills. That said, I would not expect anybody to deny themselves of something this amazing. Get a sample, have a go, see if it works for you. These are just subtle, fascinating, really beautiful inks, and I want to try them all. Please come back for the next video where I'm going to be doing a painting using these inks. I look forward to seeing you then. I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed the opportunity to play with new inks. And I would love to hear back from you. Have you used Weringul's inks? Do you want to? What did you think? I'm always interested in hearing your opinions, and particularly of an ink as unique as this.